Okay, so this is the solution to homework um, number 10. And I am going to, first of all, um, set the path manager so that uh, it's flying a straight line path. And then we'll um, do the uh, simulation model first. And so on the simulation model, now one of the things that I had to do here is to change the simulation model so that the um, the uh, uh, roll angle, I guess, was constrained, or in other words, the um, course rate uh, was constrained. So I did that in the guidance model by um, adding uh, an if statement here that says that um, you know if the uh, if the course rate is too great, um, more than defined by the uh, the roll angle, and so this is in my parameter file then um, I don't have any uh, course accelerate, angular acceleration. And we do the same thing with the climb rate so that you get something that looks uh, or behaves uh, like the aircraft does. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and run um, the actual uh, simulation. And uh, this takes a little bit longer um, than the other one, obviously. And this um, this particular simulation, the you know um, the state estimator is uh, is turned on, and so you'll see it does take a little bit for the estimate of the roll angle to converge, and it finally turns. So the behavior of the system isn't quite as sharp as uh, you might ex or the the, the uh, guidance model predicts, but we do get uh, very similar behavior. Simulation runs much slower. Okay, so we get convergence down here to our, uh, our straight line model. It's also climbing. You'll notice the altitude is climbing at a constant rate. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop that. And then uh, come back here and in the path manager, zero. All right, so now we um, have our orbit, and because of the uh, the limited turn rate um, or or bank angle, and it takes a little bit to converge onto the orbit. Once it does, it does a nice job. Okay, so now we'll come over and run the uh, the full simulation model. That takes a little bit more time to run. But I'm using the same gains uh, on my flight path. And I'll just let, let this run for a minute so you can see how it works. Again, it overshoots the... Um, uh, overshoots the the path here and you do have to have limits on uh, the roll angle so in this particular case the roll angle is limited at 30 degrees And so everything uh, behaves quite nicely. Okay, that is the solution for chapter 10.